I'd like to show you how to use a web mapping service in QGIS. Web mapping services are data layers stored centrally, typically by a government agency, that you have access to through a GIS program if it knows the protocol to access. And in Minnesota, there's an important set of WMS data layers served by the Minnesota Geospatial Information Office, or MinGeo. If you do a web search on MinGeo, you'll find this MinGeo state.mn.us website, and you can go there and go to the web services page. Now on that page it lists a number of resources, the most important of which for us now is this digital ortho photo and hillshade one. So if I highlight that and right click and copy that link, I can go to QGIS, which I started here and with the main menu across the top. If I look in layers, add a WMS or web mapping service layer, I can then create a new one. So if I click on new, I type in a name, and I'll just call this Mingeo. OP for orthophoto, and I can then copy and paste, I should say, the URL that I copied before. And I don't have to do a pass or anything else, so I can say OK. And then I can connect, and it'll show me the layers available. Now, I'm interested in the statewide layer, and I like this color infrared default stretch. Now, that's a JPEG, so I have to show that the image encoding is a JPEG. And so then I can add it. Now, when I add it, if I go ahead and close this, I see I have data for the entire state. Voila! I can then zoom in and see all sorts of interesting information from these data. So I can go and digitize boundaries, stand boundaries, or wetland boundaries, or lake boundaries, or house locations, anything I can see on this imagery. So it's a great source if you're trying to build a map here in Minnesota. And there's tons of different kinds. There's really detailed data for the metro area, some six inch data there. But statewide, there's the um, the Farm Services Administration, yearly since about 2005 or six, uh, one meter resolution ortho photos. Now, most of them are true color, some of them are just color infrared from 2008, uh, but it's a great resource.